we really wanted to get out of the city. It's really as simple as that. Um, the mountain junkie, so is Jeff. He doesn't want to admit it, but he is. And Conifer is just so nice, um, and the city is just a little bit too much. I don't think we ever thought it wasn't going to work out. I think we just naively assumed that it was going to work out, like it always is. We have moved Conics before, we just didn't move quite this far. But no, I think, I think we just figured people will come, right? They always do. And, and they did. You know, we're still worth the drive. And uh, we want to provide that service to those people who I think will follow the rest of the campus. And we still get people from all over the place. People come in, we had someone come in, I think from Tennessee or someplace, they have their dog fixed and I think had to do an entropy or something. You know, it's no big deal, but they were going to stay in town for a few days, so why not? God knows what they're going to pay back there, you know? I don't know. So, so the whole idea behind PPI is to provide vet care for animals that are not able to afford vet care somewhere else. Um, and it used to really be lower cost vet care, but now it's just affordable cost vet care for the average person. Um, the, the cost of vet care has gone up so much, especially in recent years, that now regular vet care is no longer for regular people, it's for rich people. Um, and that's, that's when we come in, that's what we are here for, to provide the best vet care we can and still make it affordable for people who love their pets, they just don't have thousands and thousands of dollars saved the site for a rainy day. Yeah, so whenever, I mean, whenever we're doing the show, uh, usually after, say, after 10.30, something's kind of settled down a little bit. Um, our, our community is great up here. We're mountain town, it's quiet, but I am on next door too. And the posts that come in about we need affordable vet, vet care and we got charged this at our other clinic and we can't afford anywhere else and what else does everybody recommend? A lot of people comment, go to Planned Parenthood, go to Planned Parenthood. And it's really nice to see everybody said, I'm like, oh, they treated my dog and this all went really well and they got us in right away. And I mean, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that makes me feel really good. Um, but it is really important. I mean, we still see a lot of people from Denver and different I had a guy come in from New York the other day. He drove all the way across country to be here. Like, that just means that we're doing something right. <laughs> All the joy, or not most of the joy of veterinary medicine is making the animal healthy um, and, and pleasing the owner. I mean, those two things are, are what drive me. Um, you know, I, I will be honest, I, I, I say a prayer before I go into every room, um, asking for patients to listen, you know, the, the right words to say, make the right diagnosis and the right treatment. And, I, and you know, I do work for Jeff, but don't tell him, I'm really working for, for God <laughs> in my heart. Um, and I want to do the best I possibly can. And I, um, I think the fact that uh, we're in a, an environment where people desperately want help with their animal and we don't turn anyone away uh, is pretty amazing. Thank you for calling Planned Parenthood. This is Michelle. How can I help you? Well, the reality is that I'm in a low cost vet clinic that's like incredible amount of work making sure that uh, we make enough money for everybody to get paid, all the bills get paid. We don't have as much extra income as regular vet clinics do and we have to work that much harder to make sure all the bills are covered, all the salaries are covered. Um, it definitely takes a lot more work for a lot less money. It, and it does take a lot of dedication. All of our staff are very dedicated people who truly believe in what we do. They could all get a higher paid jobs, someone else work less, but what we do is extremely meaningful and I don't think we all are here because we believe in what we do. Just the, what we do here is amazing. People who have been to so many other better days come in with their animals and it's the last chance before they euthanize basically and it's either that or we try in a lot of the cases um so we try you know and we do it <laughs> and there's so many animals that come here that you know are really really sick and sometimes i don't think they're gonna walk out of here again and sometimes they don't but at least we try but then there's other animals that like we fix them and get them home. Yeah, what ppi provides is a full range of services i mean we don't call in a bone specialist those kind of things there's virtually no surgery we can't do 
but yeah, it's, um, PPI is not the panacea either. I mean, we, I learned through the through trial and error. I mean, I've done books on top myself. Uh, Dr. Pretcher's taking all kinds of extra bone surgery classes, so she's gotten really good at that. You know, I, mean, I think we're driven to make a difference and we're willing to take on those hard cases. We're not specialists by any means, but at the same time, we want to be able to, if the choice is to put your hand to sleep or give it our best shot, we're going to give it our best shot every time. So, IMHS, um, I was on the board, IMHS for a couple of years, and we got to a point where we were about to close. Jeff happened to be moving his clinic up to Conifer. It was kind of a match made in heaven. We needed somebody to take on our great little shelter. We needed the cash infusion. We needed somebody with a name um, to help us keep going. And I think Jeff really came in and uh, provided all of that. Taking over their own name, it, they, are, they are a subsidiary of Tan Pillar International. Okay? So everything stays the same. They're a great group up there. And they've already increased their adoptions. And you know, it's, it's so much more convenient because we're really we're close. And so the, the veterinary side is, is right there. I've been with this thing since day one when we came to see the new place, what the shelter was like, what their needs were, and what we could do to bring something different to the table so that they can keep this place and it wasn't easy i mean it's a new community and so we had to kind of conform to some new ways and, and learn a whole new way of doing things really but we've eased into it really nice the people have been so good to us here and welcoming and we do the same thing we did before we we match families with their new forever pets same thing we always did we just match hearts together that's it's kind of just that simple, really. I can't say enough about Intermountain. I got four of my dogs here. I, currently, I have three of them. And this little girl was going to be euthanized because she needed a dental, which was expensive. So Dr. Jeff gave her a dental, and I didn't, I'm not fostering her. I adopted her. But, uh, and I've been volunteering here for I, I don't know, maybe nine years. And I got my first dog here about 16 years ago. He just passed away. But, but, you know, there's always room for another one. <laughs> this is my beautiful Ava. We got her three days ago. She came from Mexico. I got her right when she got um, out from the airport. She has razor teeth, so if there's a little tear coming right here, because she does that to me in my sleep, and well, that's her favorite thing to do. But she's only 10 weeks old. Don't let her fool you, she's real naughty. I haven't slept in two days. My eyes are all saggy. She chews my hair in my sleep. And if I don't sleep with her, she screams like a banshee. But she's available for adoption. She's just one of many pets that we rescue all the time. So we have the same kind of community that we had before. We just added some new folks in different areas now. but still helping everywhere we can. That's just what we're always going to do no matter what. So when I met Susan for the first time, we formed an immediate bond. So I would go in when uh, Dr. Jeff was down in Wheat Ridge and check out all the animals that were available for adoption. And now that she's up here, Watson and I have come up for every event to see her, to check out what animals that they have. Um, I could hear the bargain in the background. Uh, what they do is they bring the community together to, to get these dogs new homes. Dr. Jeff is funny because when he sees Watson, he goes, how about Watson? He le he's leading the life and he's leading the life because Dr. Jeff and his people gave him the chance to do so. Intermountain Humane really serves a need for people who need pets and pets who need people because we really need each other. They're all these dogs and cats need homes. We need to find people that they fit with. Sometimes you don't even know you need them and they choose you. So this is the place, Hitch Mountain is the place where we make those connections. I would like this community to, to you know, certainly identify that they have something pretty amazing in their backyard and that this is a place where we do a lot of good things every day and we, we really do change lives here. 
we play a very, very big role here. We just hope that we can continue to do that. We can't do it without the support of the community. I mean, one reason why we're able to do things at such affordable prices is because we have so much support. There's no question that without good people giving donations, without good people caring and, and believing in what we do, we wouldn't exist. That's the truth. I want Planned Parenthood International to be remembered as an organization that helped you know, a huge amount of people uh, and, and that it keeps doing that. You know? In the end, I think it's, it's important that we face the future with the idea that we can help more animals and do a better job of that. I never did any of this for some legacy. I never did any of this to, to be in a book or anything like that. You know, I did it because I believe what I'm doing. It's that simple. You know, and, and Dr. Fletcher believes in what, what we're doing. Um, and I think the people who work for me believe in what we're doing. I believe that you know, no matter our differences, we have more in common than, than we have differences. Uh, and that through incredible donations and people caring about the animals, caring about other people, uh, we've been lucky to continue uh, to do what we do, and with any luck, we'll, we'll do more and more in the future.